I'm Steve Beverly in the West Tennessee Today newsroom and election day coming up tomorrow. They're expecting much better turnout than what we had back in the spring with the county commission elections that only turned out 8% of the voters. They're looking for a turnout perhaps maybe between 40 and 60%. I know that's a broad, broad range, but it really is about what they are expecting based on what the early voting turnout is. One thing that you should note is that with early voting, that's going to be the first one that is announced. You should expect that if a candidate has a lead of about 6% or greater, when the early voting totals are announced, that probably is going to decide that particular race. First day of school coming up in Jackson and Madison County. And for school superintendent Eric Jones, he says that it is going to be a year that he thinks will be a relatively smooth transition as it is his second as superintendent. He is really looking to stay the course with where he has been with his first year plan that he is hoping is going to continue to pay off, but he says it is still going to be a slow process. If you go elsewhere on West Tennessee today, you're going to see some more of his comments about the opening of the school year. And finally, something that really has a lot of us puzzled, and it maybe has some people really worried. And that is the fact that Kroger has announced that it is mulling a possibility of banning all Visa cards. And for those of us who have been so common and accustomed to just swiping that card or sticking it in now that you use the chip, what will we do? You'll find out more on West Tennessee Today. I'm Steve Beverly. Hope you'll join us for election coverage, Steve Bowers and myself, on eplustv6.com tomorrow night, beginning at 7 o'clock. Have a great day.